Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Hello and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the Dreamcast. In the last episode, it crashed on me. I think it's because I told it off and it, it just it threw a hissy fit. So I'm sorry, Dreamcast. <laughs> we'll be friends again now, shall we? <laughs> okay. You're going to work the entire episode this time, please. <laughs> Is it just you? Or do you have friends with <laughs> I've got I've got my Dreamcast next to me, but I don't know if it's my friend yet. <laughs> so, it's just you, I think I might have fallen out of Okay, I need to know your name. Please enter it now. Oh, we'll try it, we'll try it. Uh. Uh. Oh. Come on. Have me proper name. Don't crash. Come on, I thought we were friends. Don't do this to me, Dreamcast. I've just put my name in. It's gonna be one of those days. We're back. Um. I think that was the disc, not the, the Dreamcast. So last episode, I think it was actually name. the Dreamcast itself just went, no, if you're going to tell me off, I ain't going to work. Uh, whereas it was actually the game this time, I think. I've given it clean. Hopefully it works. I think because the PlayStation 2 just sits on, on my desk with the, with, the, with, the, with the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire disc in it. It's, <laughs> it doesn't go to the Who. We'll go again with my name. We'll go again. It's just not a good time for me at the moment with things breaking. I just hope your drink has to break on me. Would you like to be a millionaire? Oh, what happened? You sending me a warning, I hope. I don't genuinely like you, Dreamcast. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. The other consoles don't play up like you do. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Sorry. I do genuinely talk to them. It's all. good. You've got £100. Yeah, the stamp paper like you do, Dreamcast. You're my problem child, you are. <laughs> don't start with me. Have a look at this. It's worth I'm sorry, don't crash. Um, right, what would you use to play a game of... Uh, would it be cards or dominoes? I'm going to go cards. It's good for £200. I'd say it's not a good time for breaking, because my new headset broke, and then You're sent well, it off. Got a refund, because it's like the third from. time it broke, and... Look at this for £300. Wasn't best impressed. Uh, which of these is a common garden flower? Uh, forget me not. So you think the right answer is C? Yeah, sent the... Are you sure? Well done, you've got okay. three. So, pounds. sent the new headset back for a refund, because I was like, it's like the third time it's broke. Right, I ain't doing this again. Got the old headset out, used it for a week, and Take then that broke! <laughs> so I'm now headsetless using a pair of David's headphones, uh, which are just headphones, uh, because right, bless him, time, you still got all I nabbed him when he wasn't looking, because um, <laughs> he doesn't use them, and I'm going to see how long it takes him to work out that I've been using them, and then I have the microphone, bless it, that I bought, that I'm really pleased with, it only cost 20 quid, so I'm quite chuffed, uh, which of these is a correct spelling embarrassment, would it be an embarrassment if I got it wrong, I think it's double R, double S. Are you happy with that? Yeah. That's the right Wait. answer for five hundred pounds. See, I have the microphone from the Cake Channel. <laughs> You've still got all three lifelines left: fifty fifty, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Now, the next question guarantees you a thousand pounds if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Uh, the big issue is solved by the home. In Same order to help D. the homeless. Okay. You happy to go orange? Yeah, yeah, I am. You seem pretty sure. I'm right You're to be right sure. You're right to be sure. You just won a thousand pounds. You're doing very well, Jim Cass. Thank you very much. You've you've actually like 
stopped being as loud as well, I'm impressed. You can stay. <laughs> Ain't got much choice. I, can't, I just don't want to buy another one. <laughs> That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed. But let's try and double that with the next question. You might the Dreamcast the and the Saturn are the ones that I really don't have any games for. This one is for two thousand pounds. All the other consoles I've got like masses of games for. It's just the Dreamcast and the Saturn, and I couldn't tell you why. It's just I seem to have bought all the other games from every other console. Which TV series featured an enemy called the Master? Oh, that was Doctor Who. So you think the right answer is C? Are you sure? You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. You're doing brilliantly. You've got two thousand pounds, but take a look at this next question for four thousand. Which fruit is used to make Eve's pudding? So you think it's A. You had £2,000. You just doubled it to £4,000. Okay, going on. Question eight coming up for eight thousand pounds. Take your time on this. You don't have to play. Here it comes. Which round road sign with a red border displays a red cross on a blue background? Round, red border, red cross, blue background. No waiting. Or Chloe. Oh. Chloe? Chloe. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? He's hoping I get it right. You had £4,000. You could have walked away. You didn't. You've now got oh, £8,000. I've been driving nine years. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Do you know what, Dreamcast? I just keep talking to it, by the way, don't worry. <laughs> I am really annoying. Uh, oh, Comet clearly. Uh, Hailbop, wasn't it? Because it was the one that I thought it was Haley's and it wasn't. It was Hailbop. Are you saying B? I'm going to get you out more often, Dreamcast. We're going to play this game well more done. often. You just won. It's actually quite a lot of fun. It's quite nice to actually get you out. Like, out of your hole. <laughs> Dreamcast appreciation. I feel... <laughs> We're going to do a Dreamcast appreciation now. I'm going to get you out more often. We're going to play more often, my friend. I'm going to buy you more games. That's Don't what forget, I'll do. Still got all three I'm going to get Use paid. In like three months. Right, you've got sixteen. Because I got fat too much to pay for. I'm gonna buy a new headset. <laughs> You're just six questions away. When I can afford it. One million pounds. The next question, if you go for it and you get it right, is worth a guaranteed thirty-two thousand pounds. Have a look at it. Good luck. Wait. In 1980, which rock star appeared on Broadway? Wasn't that David Bowie? I'm gonna guess it. So you think it's A? I'm gonna go for it. Well, I've gone for it now. You did have £16,000 in your hand. I did. You've now got hey. £32,000. Hey, Dreamcast, we got there. We got to 32. After last week, well, say last week, <laughs> uh, 20 minutes ago for me. Um, but for anybody watching, after last week's debacle. <laughs> You've got £32,000 guaranteed. It's in the bag. No one can take that away from you at this point. 
Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. It's becoming very big money. Here it comes. In Greek mythology, who turned the companions of Odysseus into pigs? Ring a, you want to ring a pal. A friend, <laughs> Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take. It's not fair to find a person. It's ring a pal. Ring a chum. <laughs> Call a mate. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sarah. This is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Chris. There's sixty-four thousand pounds at stake on this next question. A lot of money. No pressure. And it is your assistance to move on. No problem, Chris. Hey, now, I like that you're confident. You ready for this? This is the question. There are four possible answers. Here it comes. It was the woman who knew secret and powerful magic. Um, sir, see. Sarah, thank you very much. That is not the one I would have gone for. So Sarah thinks you should pick answer C. She does, but I was actually debating between Calypso and Dido. So. We'll go with what she says. I'll trust her. You don't have to play this if you don't want Mainly because I want Here's my lifelines for the next uh, next round. <laughs> you had thirty two thousand pounds in your hand. Not anymore. You've now got sixty four thousand ah, pounds. Apologies, Sarah. I was wrong. I should have listened to you from the start rather than just wanting you to confirm my own beliefs. Um <laughs> Now you're getting into really serious money territory. The next wouldn't it be ironic? One like a hundred and thirty odd episodes in, I've been playing on the PS2 the entire time. Two episodes into me Dreamcast. Well, technically three. My fifth episode was a Dreamcast, wasn't it? Have I had you that long? Ah, oh, I didn't realise I had you that long. Dreamcast was the last console I bought. What was it? No, the Atari 2600 was the last console I bought. You were the last kind of... I'd say modern, but it's not modern anymore, is it? <laughs> I'm old. Um, <laughs> Extinct Mower was a bird native to New Zealand, wasn't it? You're saying D. Okay. Oh, I feel old now. You happy to go orange? I remember when you Dreamcast check, came out. 64. You've now got a check for one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. I remember when the drinkers came out. I remember it being like the huge thing. Because you could like I'm sure you could connect to the internet on it and you could get a keyboard and everything and you could talk to friends over the internet and it was like this amazing thing and like what was it like it must have been two thousand. You have one hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. Remember, what came out. remember when the PlayStation now One came out before that. Question thirteen and fifteen coming up. Take your time. It's worth two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. If you can give me the right answer, good luck. Here it comes. I always wanted to buy the Dreamcast when it came out as well, but it was the fact that you'd have to sell your PlayStation and all the games and then buy it all back on the Dreamcast. So that's why I think most people just stuck with the PlayStation. And then Sega just made games. The Caribbean island of belongs to which European country? Um, uh, audience. Okay, right. Using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, please let's try and help out. Fingers Good. on keypads. All vote now. Well, now they're leaning towards B as the right answer. It's enough of a margin that I'm going to take it. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? I'm gonna go B in the Netherlands. Final answer. You had a check for one hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. You no longer have that. You've now got a check for a quarter of Whee! a million pounds. Woohoo! I actually was not expecting to get this far today. <laughs> what have been doing is chatting crap. So there's a check there for two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. But we don't want to give you that. I don't have it. I'd like to give you the next oh, check. I want the one above it. Five hundred thousand pounds. 
You are at this moment two questions away from a million pounds. Have a look at it. Take your time. This is question number 14. Which city is the legislative capital of South Africa? Ooh. You don't have to answer this, but at this point, you are just two correct answers away. From I'm going to go. <coughs> and this is my Take thinking. Take as long as you need at this moment. This is for half a million pounds. You've got two hundred and fifty thousand pounds at this moment. You could play for five Chris, I want to talk. Shut up. <laughs> a wrong answer would cost you we get it. I want to talk through me thinking. Shh. Chris, fingers on lips. That's what I do with the drive. Though. <laughs> fingers on lips. Uh, right. <laughs> it's between Cape Town and Johannesburg. Now my gut is saying Johannesburg, so I'm going to go Cape Town because I'm always wrong. Is that your final answer? You had a quarter of a I did. Pounds. You didn't have to play. I didn't. You decided you would. I did. If you're wrong, you lose. I will. Two hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. Pretty much. You're not wrong. You've just Please. won half a million pounds. Yes. Get in. Five hundred thousand quid. Hey. Never trust the cat on an empty stomach. I just like, I want to go to Johannesburg. I want to go to Johannesburg. Mm, I'm going to go Cape Town because this is where I usually go wrong. This is actually the last question, isn't it, Chris? Well, you're doing brilliantly. Fantastic. What Half the hell? a million pounds. Now, there's a check waiting here with your name on it for 500,000. I have a 50 50. But we don't want to give you that. We'd love to give you the next one, the big one. You are just one right answer away. From a million pounds. Dreamcast, if I win the million. <laughs> you can leave here quite happily. You're taking pride of place in that con <laughs> console coming up, I'm telling you. I've actually got to the million pound question with a 50 50. This is unheard of. This is ridiculous. What? <laughs> what is the name given to the first Sunday in Lent? I have had this question before and I could not tell you the answer, but we have a 50 50. Right, let's try and help by narrowing the choice down for you. Computer, take away two wrong please. answers, please. Leaving just the right answer and the I'm one sure I've had this question before, because I just kind of went blank. Well, that's left you with A or B to oh. choose from. I Which one? You again, you are putting an awful oh, money at risk if you do choose to play this question. £468,000, to be precise. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away, but it is for one million pounds for Sunday Lent for Sunday Lent I'm going to go back and is that your final I got no reason I just, I'm going to go away. And I'm putting the controller down. Well, you've done so well. You've been so positive all the way through. Because I don't know how to say this to you. I've lost an eye. That's the wrong... Ah! You've just lost 460,000 pounds. <laughs> the answer is B. So close! Oh my God, with a 50-50. Drinker's just staying out. <laughs> Playing again. Playing this again on the Dreamcast. That was amazing. <laughs> so close. So close. Oh. I didn't know. I had to guess and I just went for A. So it was 50 50. And... <sighs> anyway, you never know. We're getting there. We're getting closer. <laughs> so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>